Hey guys, don't be fooled by this free VTuber avatar. It is in fact me, Sir Doge. I'm here to talk about a question I saw on the forums like half a year ago. That was who would win between a Skyblock player and a Pit player. So I didn't do too much research into this. I was just like, let me talk about it. Because, you know, people are like, oh, a Skyblock player can just one hit a Pit player. No, no question. I'm here to say, yeah, uh, there, you know, there is more stuff in the pit than a Skyblock player might know about. Of course, I, Skyblock player wins. That's no uh, spoiler alert. I'm just saying. Whatever. Good, good intro. Good intro. I'll, I'll use that. So first we have to establish some guidelines, and I'll do that by talking about the base forms. With base form, I mean just like how, what is the player when he first enters the game for the first time? And right off the bat, we see the pit player wins, right? So when you first spawn into the pit, you get a basic sword and armor, and in Skyblock you start with nothing. So I think probably a pit player would win, I assume. So now that we've got that out of the way, here's how a pit player could survive an attack from a Skyblock player. So for one thing, no matter how much damage you do in Sky as a Skyblock player, there's an enchant called Singularity that negates all damage above a certain amount. So that 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 would do a lot against a hundred million thousand damage, right? Mirror exists as well. If Skyblock, I don't know actually. No, if in Skyblock you do true damage, like there are mobs that do true damage, but it's never stated that the player does true damage. But in case in case you do, there is an enchant against that as well. Now, could a pit player actually do damage to a Skyblock player? I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah. In Pit, true damage is a little bit different. On all the descriptions of true damage, it says it deals hearts of damage. So I think that's a good loophole that I can use right now and say that, for example, Gamble 3 that deals 3 hearts in the Pit, I'm going to say that's going to deal 3 hearts to a Skyblock player. So technically, with Gamble 3 and enough luck, Pit player could just 6 shot the Skyblock player, 7, 7 hits, 7 times 3 is 21, yep. But really, when it comes to damage, I think a pit player's best shot would be, well, a bow shot. Again, no pun intended. If I left the first one in the video, I don't remember. Uh, Enchants such as Chipping, True Shot, Robin Hood, blah blah blah, Volley, Devil's Chicks. Everything that does true damage on a bow would probably be, probably be the best way to deal with a Skyblock player. And the last thing I'd like to talk about is darks. So darks are a type of pants that just negate all mystics. You don't take damage from mystics. You go through mystic defenses, blah blah blah. And of course the Skyblock player doesn't have mystics. But hear me out. This, this is a stretch, but when darks were introduced, it was stated that they were for people who like vanilla PvP. Something like that. So technically, would darks disable all special items and enchants that a Skyblock player has? I don't know, I mean they are two different games. And if they do, maybe you'd be immune from all the special attacks, I guess. You wouldn't have singularity, so you can't, you'd be one shot then by a sword that deals 500 damage, but you know what, I'm gonna say that, that that's something Ooh, Venom. Venom could work. Anyway, that was it. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the Skyblock player would win with all his teleporting around and healing items, blah blah blah. I just wanted to make a point for like what, what a pit player could do. You know, that you wouldn't just get one shot super easily. And I just thought it'd be a fun video to make. So, go ahead. If you play Skyblock, smash some hoes, please. Please, get out of your house. Stop. Stop playing Skyblock, please. See ya.